All right, time to clean out the the basement, and then everything will be all handy dandy fandy. Um, ew, ew. What's in here? Mutilated torso. There's nothing in there. Lovely. Filing cabinets. Ooh, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Ah, who's doing? Stop that. Oh my goodness, that did a. <laughs> That did quite a bit of damage, my goodness. Oh man, I was not expecting it to actually kill him. I thought like, oh, it would do a bit of damage, surely, and then I can just finish him off once I get down there. <laughs> nope. Wow, I'm, I'm more lethal than I first thought. Anyone in here? Ooh, a stim pack. What are you yelling about? Is that a, oh god, that's a super mutant brute. Stop, stop. You're not stopping! Oh god. Please die. Do I have- I sold all my grenades, didn't I? So I can't, like, throw them at him. Would you stop that? Come on, I just picked up a stim pack. Don't make me use it against myself. Oops. Damn it. You know what? Screw it. It's that time. Take that. No. It missed right up close. Oh my god, is that a grenade? You've got a grenade! That was my idea! Oh, I really gotta stop saying my tactics out loud. These guys are stealing them. Come on. There we are. Oh, give me that grenade if you have any left. You don't. Lovely. Ow. Oh, Jesus, I'm walking with a bloody limp now. Sledgehammer. Ah, oh, he's got the grenade. Okay. Where's my you know, stim pack? And... I'll just use a stim pack in general. Um, there we are. Oh, much better. <clears throat> Nothing. Ah, oh, wow, I really need to buy some more ammo for my uh, hunting rifle. I've got, like, barely any. Alright. Can I take a quick sleep? Nope. Well, of course not. There are enemies nearby. Well, they won't be for much longer. I'll guarantee you that. Oh, nope, nope. Come on. Oh man, I love that face. <laughs> Ooh, don't love his face. Ow, he got f sent flying. Jesus. Oh, hello. Ammo. Vodka. Ah, I'll take that all. Right away. Sledgehammer. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. And what's in here? Let me turn off my light. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Revelation 21.6 Ooh, so this is like the dad's place or something? I'll take these and listen to them later. Or maybe never, I don't know. Depends on whenever that we get a little down moment. And I can't go to sleep. Uh, nothing in here. Alright, so let's explore the rest of this area. Let's just moving the minimap to try and find an enemy, and here's one. Where did it go? Hello. Die. Please die. Ooh. Lovely. Uh, is that it? Is that all of them? Um. Yep, that's all of them. Cool. Now I can holster my weapon and just explore freely and look at all the loot that's around here. Ooh, goodies. Intercom. No response. I'll take that. Thank you. Suitcase is empty. I don't know what I was expecting. Alright. Well, time to just uh, hop on out of here. Oh, but first, I'm going to have to take a little sleepy sleep. Let's sleep for an hour. <laughs> Bet Dr. Lee and, and Dad and her crew... Or, and their crew will be like, what's taking him so long? I sent him in there an hour ago. Could he be hurt? It's like, she, she. Just snore my, snore my ass off. <laughs> Alright. Nothing in here. I really need to start clean. We should hire like a janitor or something like that. Someone to get rid of all these... All of these um, mutant corpses, because those are just uh, nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Hello. Are you alright? Is it safe in there? 
everything in there is dead. I'm proud of you. Um, have to go, Dad. Be careful, my son. Okay, cool. Well, I am going to just quickly head over to Megaton. I'll sell a bunch of stuff, come back, and all will be well. Ooh, actually, what do you know about the android from the Commonwealth? Have you heard the so-called android recording? It sounds like an ordinary man. Here's a spare copy of that old holotape. It's a hoax for sure. Ooh, that's interesting. All right. Now, um... I'll be off to sell my scrap metal and then go back to where Dad was. Well, huh? Yeah. And we're back. So I sold all like 14 of my scrap metal or something like that. I sold a bunch of stuff and I've got a new little toy to play around with. This dart gun. Look at it. It's got the little toy car at the end of it and stuff like that. That's so cute. It's a little paint thing or whatever. I don't know. Looks neato. I'll give it a shot later. Hey, what's up, Pally? What? Oh, great. Listen, I know who you are, okay? Far as I'm concerned, you've got no business being here. So just stay out of my way. Okay. You seem like a real jerk. Oops. Excuse me, Mr. Pillar. Where's Denny? Here we are, where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation 21.6 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier. This is the water of life. Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. Uh... So, what happened to Project Purity? In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant's problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. Huh. So how did you get me into the vault? How did you get me into the vault? Uh, what's the big deal about water, anyway? The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Water out here is never clean, and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding. Starting over. Um... What do we need to do? The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Things have deteriorated here since then. And there's been some flooding. I need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. Okay, where do I need to go? The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred. So you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. Right. Turn on the flood control pump power. That seems easy enough to do. What? Uh, while we're walking over there, I suppose now would be a good time to listen to that Android thing. Um, if you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an Android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. Ooh. Interesting. Alright, let's uh, activate it. 
Alright, fuses. Well, is there any other thing? Missing Android. Oops, I thought that would be something that uh, would play. Uh, Zimmer, da, 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 okay. I'll play that. So here I am, back where it all began. Project Purity. God, we wanted to change the world. We really thought the waters of life could be a reality. And that's why this is a momentous occasion. Because even after 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning. When did you write that? Because... 19 years, that means you would have escaped after the vault, then you put it down there, and when... No, sorry, I don't quite understand how the timeline about that. Is it true? Did you really disarm the bomb in Megaton? Yes, I disarmed the bomb. I'm very proud of you, even though you put yourself in harm's way. Just please be careful out there. This is a dangerous world. Far more dangerous than anyone on that vault knows. Uh, you said something about fuses? Right. The flooding shorted out some of the fuse boxes downstairs, including one that controls some of the automatic doors. Here, take these fuses. The box is back down in the sub-basement near the eastern end of the level. Once the fuses are replaced, you'll be able to get to the mainframe. Alright. Now let's see, what else is there? Oh, no, let's listen to that. Day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators on it. It's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. That will serve for now, but I need help powering up the mainframe. Time to visit Madison at Rivet City. Alright, that's interesting. I spoke with Dr. Lee, Madison, at Rivet City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? She's got her own life, her own team, and is making real, tangible scientific progress. Here I come again, the very paragon of failure and false promises. But the reality the is, is in place, I need should be able to access whatever scientific the team she may have assembled. I need to come back to the control room. I can't do this myself. Ah. Purity is bigger than me. It always was. Without Catherine, God, I can't let this die. Not again. Not like this. Dang. Do I have any other more audio recordings? Oh, what's this? Well, here we are again. Project Purity and me. As I left all of this behind to make a life for my son. We've spent that time in the world's one on one, passed away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe, and that's all I could have hoped for. Now, my son is a grown man, handsome, intelligent, confident, just like his old man. <laughs> and as hard as it was to admit it, he doesn't need his daddy anymore. Aww. Noodles. Yummy. What's up? There are a few minor repairs still to be made up here in the control room. Why don't you come back here and give me a hand? Actually, wait. There's one other thing I need you to do. Jana says there's a blockage in one of the intake pipes. It's on your way back. Head back up to the museum level and give me a call on the intercom when you get there. Uh, have to go now. I'll see you. Sure thing. All right, let's play the final recording. The badge of test was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that... James, please. I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! Hey there! Stop! I need to finish these notes. <laughs> We'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should... Ow! James! Now? We really should... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gross. Listening to my parents, like... Blech. Disgusting. <laughs> 